Chase here from Alsace Americana. This is a concrete tabletop. Interesting story about this tabletop. It has aggregates from all over the world in it. We're gonna polish it up so you can see those aggregates. They're gonna shine through. It's gonna be a very beautiful table. We're using a couple of different discs here. We're gonna start off with the 50. These are diamond discs. They're available online. There's a whole bunch of different suppliers of them. Ever since COVID, you have uh, issues getting polishing pads, grinders, um, all kinds of things. I used to get these from Pearl Abrasive. Love them. Great company, great group of guys. My grinders used to be a variable speed grinder from Makita. Phenomenal grinders. Problem is, Makita after COVID, they're just outsourcing parts and not getting them in stock. But let me not bore you with the particulars of the equipment. So we're gonna go through all of these different discs here. By the time we get down to 3000, you're gonna see a nice, shiny, polished concrete tabletop. We can do this cast in place. You can, you know, be installing a brand new kitchen. We'll come in, put in brand new countertops for you. Difference between polished concrete versus granite. I can give you any color you want. I can give you any type of aggregate you want. Uh, granite is what it is. You're gonna go down um, one of these big box stores or you're gonna go down to a supply house and the granite is what it is. You don't have a choice really. The benefits of polished concrete is I can uh, put an integral color into the concrete. I can source aggregates from all over the world, anywhere in the world or right here in the USA. It's up to you. A lot of my stuff I do try and keep in the USA and no further ado let me start polishing so we've gone through a couple of discs we've ground this down polishing it and we're starting to expose some of the aggregates the quartz is coming up beautiful. It is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, if you look at that color right there, look at this color here. Like I said, this table here has aggregate from all over the world because that's what was requested. Now, you just look at the colors. I mean, as I wipe that clean, look, it's not clean yet. We have to go through some more polishing pads. But I mean, just look at the colors coming out. It's absolutely, I mean, I really wish you were here in my backyard with me looking at this. So we've gone through all the pads. We've got this nice and polished. We're just exposing all the aggregates. The Long Island quartz just jumps out of me. You got some bluestone from Connecticut. Yeah, bluestone from New York. You can see the difference if you kind of know. Connecticut's a little bit darker. Uh, New York's a little bit lighter, but it's all great bluestone. This is a 6,000 PSI mix. If I wanted to, I could get up on top of this table, dance on it, but nobody wants to see me dancing, so let's skip that idea. Uh, it brought up to me while we weren't shooting that PPE. Let me stress to you how important PPE is, especially in the masonry business, the concrete polishing business. He, the gentleman that brought it up, He's correct, should have gloves on, uh, should have better safety glasses, should definitely have something for the water, uh, an apron or a uh, poncho. Where is poncho, Moose? Oh, poncho? He's up, <laughs> he's upstate New York by the Canadian border. He is uh, basically teaching men, he's doing miracle work actually, showing men how to be men. And um, when he's in his off time, he's actually looking for Moose. Anyway, getting back to the table. It's a 6,000 PSI mix. It's been filled, it's been polished. We're gonna build a nice base for it. Uh, this table is actually available. This will be listed on the website. It is for sale. Reach out to me, give me an offer. Let me know what you wanna do. Maybe you want it for indoor, outdoor. Maybe I could build the base that you want instead of the base that I want. But I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. I wish you were here standing next to me. I mean, look at the quartz. They're all over. Even the fill. This is a nice dark gray fill with a gray concrete. This has integral color. There's just 
aggregates from all over the world. We have a little bit of uh, red here. We had made a table for uh, somebody out in Saudi Arabia. They had mailed me back a bunch of aggregates. We did use some of it in this table. If you see the reds and the yellows, that's actually from Saudi Arabia. Great people over there. Um, but yeah, I mean, most of this table is made out of US products. Just some of the aggregates, like I said, came from all over the world. It's a beautiful table. I'm gonna make a base for it. I wanted to make it about coffee table height. Maybe you need it for outside. Maybe this will be something nice to have next to your barbecue, your grill, your smoker. Um, you could put it indoors. We could make it a coffee table. We can make it a conversation table. Whatever you need, reach out to me. Let me know. It's uh, available. I thought this one was sold, but it's actually another one. We're going to have a whole bunch of videos. You're going to meet Poncho. He's going to be in a later video. Don't worry about that. Great guy, phenomenal guy. You're gonna meet some of my guys later on in the later videos. We're gonna make a whole library of videos on YouTube. We're gonna show you everything from masonry, how to lay brick, how to lay block, how to stucco, how to put in stone veneer. This is just like, we're like just barely scratching the surface. <laughs> scratching the surface as you just polished a concrete table. I love it, folks. He's got a sense of humor after working 15, 16 hours. That's all I do, I work morning, noon, and night. Uh, Long Island's an expensive place, as everybody knows. You gotta just keep making money every angle, every way you can. It's hard to do. Um, some people that we definitely want to thank. Um, this Portland that went into this is actually Lafarge. Thank you guys, great guys at Lafarge Cements. They're phenomenal guys. Um, they're at the ready, they have a great website. Very informative. You can always reach out to me. I'll help you no matter what. If you ever find yourself in a pickle, give me a call. The phone number is going to be somewhere. The website is going to be somewhere. I don't know if it's down there or up there, but it'll be somewhere. Reach out to me. Let me know what the problem is, and we'll just come up with a solution. Um, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate all those clicks, likes, shares. Share it to everybody that you know. Share it to 10 people that you don't know, and maybe you'll start knowing other people. But I appreciate it. I just appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much and have a great evening. We'll show you the finished product in a later video.